This is our first blow at anchor. And it's a, it's a pretty awkward uh, situation because we've got a strong current here and it's blowing probably like, I don't know, gusting 30 in the 30s and they're opposing each other so the boat's doing all sorts of weird things but i mean the ride is actually really comfortable and we're pretty much sitting broadside to the wind swell here's the main anchor chain that's coming through that side this is our snubber so that's going off the other side and the snubber is taking all this uh, see the chain coming into the water a little bit. But when it gusts, we just go broadside to the swell. But Red Aviva handles it really, really well. We're, I mean, honestly, we're not rolling around very much. Just a little wiggle. Um, but I mean, I can't complain. It's super comfortable. I think I'll probably let some more scope out. Let me know if you want a hand. Today the plan was a little bit of nothing, a little bit of organizing, and maybe a little bit of rigging. And we were hoping if we could get to the rigging part that maybe we'd be able to sail a little bit today because it looked like the max was about 20 knots today. Um, but uh, that's not so accurate. <laughs> On a calmer note, we've been monitoring the weather for a mellow day to get all four sails up for the first time and get our sea trials underway. I think we're gonna set sail today. The wind forecast today is like between 10 and 15 and it looks like there's already a regatta or something happening in the San Pablo Bay here. So we'll see, hopefully it won't get too crowded. Um, but yeah, the wind forecast is looking epic. We had our fun little ride through a, a little blow up yesterday, but uh, I think I think I feel pretty confident down below and switch to helping Garrett a little bit on deck. He's already rolled out the Yankee, so he's hooked it up and uh, the mizzen sail is up and I think we're about ready to take off the mainsail cover. Ooh, how you feeling? Um, honestly, I'm feeling a little nervous with how much wind there already is this early. Yeah. Because again, it was forecast to be super light. Mm -hmm. And it's already blowing. I mean, this honestly would be perfect when to sail in, but we do know that there's a forecast for a little, little blow again this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it blew really hard yesterday yeah yeah it was it had to have been gusting to like 40 knots and I absolutely do not want to be out in that yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah with a few more things in the rigging to get done before we can sail in heavier wind we're being prudent well we're gonna monitor the breeze because it's continuing to pick up and we know how it blew up yesterday we don't want to get stuck out in that on her first sail <laughs> without running backs yet installed and you know her top sides have not been underwater so we don't want our first sail to be that intense so we're being cautious playing it smart 
Memo's on the beach and uh, he said he's got some Coronas and we're gonna make some guacamole and uh, see how it goes. Maybe we'll still go out, but we got everything covered back up and I mean, at least the boat is clean, so clean and put away so we could leave at the drop of a hat if we wanted to. All right, warmed up? Yep. Shoving off. Yeah, I know. I make safety-based decisions when they're necessary and when the risk is far too high for something actually bad to happen. Risk and reward type thing. Is the risk worth the reward? And, you know, we're gonna go sailing. We're out here. So that's gonna happen sooner than later and we're gonna get that reward. Oh, yeah, I was like, no way! <laughs> oh, you, oh, you from the It's been awesome hanging out with Memo and his family. After nothing but boat building, we could use some beach time. One final land excursion before we set our eyes on our next Anchorage South. We're gonna go check out the farmer's market. Felt weird looking for our shoes because we haven't had shoes on since Wednesday, which if that doesn't spell out cruising, I don't know what does. <laughs> No. no place had limes. Was, Lindsay says they're not that local probably. That was the only travesty. There, is, there wasn't any place making tacos. And yeah, no, no tacos. Limes. And no limes. <laughs> no limes. No limes. You know why? No tomatillos either. <laughs> Back to the beach with our light provisions to get a good night's sleep for the weather window ahead. Weather's looking kind of nice. Uh, the tides aren't really with us, but we think we might go from China Camp to Paradise Cove today and try and get some sailing and uh, some light winds. It's supposed to pick up like around two o'clock today. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is basically what we do every morning. We look at the weather and we look at the map <laughs> and tides over coffee and get a game plan. More done or less done? Okay, you okay, get this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've hoisted anchor and in our wake is trying to camp. We were hoping to catch some north wind, but it looks like it's already turned southerly. But we'll see if maybe we can catch a little breeze. Oh, the helm just got easy. just 
eats wigs for breakfast. Probably have enough time to hoist the mane if you wanted to before we gotta tack again. I think we'll ride like this for a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and tack. Okay. You want me to go ahead and swing the yep. rod? are up till you get a little bubble in the and the bluff okay. of your Yankee and that'll tell you right where the edge of the wind is okay. and then you can fall right back off until that bubble goes away. This is the first time all four sails have been up to sail. With the motor still on, we play with a few tacks, both of us a little rusty and getting our first taste of how she moves through the wind. Then we broke our first thing. Well, kind of. The set screw on our wench failed. And so trying not to lose any pieces, we tried to put it back together 
and we'll have to get a new screw. lost all of our wind just now yeah sails are still full though and we are just slipping north sideways you can see the current <laughs> we're moving so fast <laughs> this might be the end of our sailing I'm starting to lose control a little bit. Well, Not too bad, but we're we're slipping like probably two knots at least. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> Bummer. Wow, I have to edit today anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> but we certainly got our light day, so that's awesome. Fantastic first day. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and our anchorage is still right behind us. Uh, not all the way around. There you're good. 14.5. Yeah, 14.8. 14? 14.8, yep. Okay. Our new backyard. <laughs> and it is Tuesday, so once we get everything tucked away, I will be doing editing from Anchor. It's been a couple days since I've been in the salt. It's starting to feel a little itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Feels good? Just do it. <laughs> Paradise Cove, eh? That's pretty sweet. I mean, we've just really lucked out with the weather. It's just it's been, been gorgeous. amazing. It's been so nice. And our first sail today couldn't have been better. I mean, it's super light wind, but that's what I wanted. I want to ease her into it and not put her top sides underwater too quick, you know, because she's still probably pretty dry from being in Napa for years. So 
Although all the gales we rode out in China can't probably help swell her top sides up. Helped yeah. make up some moisture into her top side planking. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, just a little bit more of that. And now that she's spinning on her own hook, she's not sitting in one position tied to a dock because mm -hmm. her starboard side has always been her sunny side. And yeah. That side always gets dried out. So <laughs> it's a little thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm glad we made it here today. Yes. Good job. <laughs> wiggling a little bit. Whoa. Oh, there almost went some clean dishes. Is it gonna go? Oh. Probably do something with my finger. Ooh. Is that while doing the anchor? I don't know. Huh. I looked down and it was bleeding a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Safety first. I would totally live in one of those. <laughs> Not Is it a clap on? You just pushed the button, silly. Oh, I did it. Your clap on worked. Dolphins! Ah, oh, look, they're so cute! You gotta get all the bees, you know? Balls, button, blowhole. I'm getting the bees, I just don't have the balls. <laughs> 